Blake Griffin, Peter Griffin, Eddie Griffin, Andy Griffin. It don't matter. Adrian Griffin. It, hey, if you're a Griffin, you've got to go. See you. Bye. Why would you make the decision to hire Bucks coach Adrian Griffin if you're just going to let him go? Like, hello. I mean, you knew you were going to. Don't you? I felt like the Bucks were going to try to get Damian Lillard all along. Giannis said, I need to see some improvement around here or else kind of what he said or else. And so you're 30 and 13. If you fast forward, you're giving up too many points. Yes, you are. But you just decide to change coaches so abruptly. What happened? Whose <laughs> cheeks got clapped? Is this an M.A. Udoka situation? That's his name, right? M.A. Udoka. But I, I, I'm kind of fibbing there. But look, okay, you're not playing defense as great as you were. Well, you don't have Drew Holiday anymore. Is Giannis taking it as seriously as he once did? I can bring that into question. Offensively, he's playing absolutely out of his mind. But is he still that dude? Of course he is. But is he getting possibly too entitled? Yeah, he just might be. It's funny because the Bucks hit 30 and 13. I mean, you already got a amazing one-two punch in Giannis and Dane Willard. I mean, in my opinion, you got two knockout hitters, especially in Dane. But this coach situation, like, what are you going to do? Are you, Where are you going to get? Are you going to go after Scott Scowls? Eh, no. Kenny Atkinson? Eh, no. Bring back Coach Bud? Nah, it ain't going to happen. What are you going to do? Doc Rivers is that big name that's being thrown out there. I'm not going to waste too much of you guys' time, but I want to let you guys know that this just smells like a rat. It smells fishy. Um, I'm not here, I'm not telling you guys Adrian Griffin was the right guy, but he pretty much got a raw deal. Um, you don't even get to finish your first season. This reminds me of that, like, was it the first, second season when Scott Scouse was the Bulls coach? And then it was like, here comes the axe, Boom, like guillotine style, like, goodbye. Like, you know, you just have to, I don't know, you just have to, wonder sometimes what organizations would be thinking like why would they even hire Adrian Griffin if I mean obviously you went and got Damian Lillard and I was thinking to myself like does this really work I mean what do you want to do do you want to summon the ghost of Phil Jackson do you want Phil Jackson to hunt the halls of the Bucks arena I don't know what they're going to do but I mean you let the man go you put in place your interim coach. You better get something figured out. You're a team with superstar possibilities everywhere in Giannis and Dane. And they've lived up to it. And they continue to. But you need a coach, experienced coach. And you better go get them. Make it happen, Captain. Giannis wanted control. He wanted the reins. Yeah, he's got control. Let's see what coach they put in place this time. Anyway, guys, this has been RC. Just a little NBA content for you guys. This is something that just happened, and I didn't believe it. I thought it was Cap. Shout out Ticket TV. Ticket TV broke the news. I thought it was Cap like lids, but it was not. It turned out to be true. Let me know what you think in the comment sections, guys. RC is out of here. As always, thanks for rocking with me. Subscribe, like, comment even share. Come on now. It's some of the only free stuff in the world left to do. I'm gone.